So it's good, man. You're filming? We're ready yeah, to go? We're ready. We're rolling. All right. Let's hey, guys. It. Welcome to episode three of the Ask Jose Show, where you ask us questions and we give you answers. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, this week uh, we don't have too many questions, you know, asked by you guys because we're still, you know, a new show, we're rolling, we're still trying to get, you know, the information out there. So we've, you know, pretty much comprised a bunch of questions and, uh, you know, just, uh, we're just going to shoot the crap a little bit today and, uh, you know, see we'll see if we can hopefully inform you guys a little bit more. So anyway, Louis, you got anything for me or? I got a couple questions. Yeah? All right. Yeah. First question from Eric. When should I give up on my dream? When you should, you should never give up on your dream. And Eric, you know, if you're thinking about giving, did we already ask this question before or no? I don't know, man. No, but anyway, I mean, honestly, Eric, if, if look, regardless, if we've answered this or not, I'm going to answer it again. Eric, talking to you out there, all right? Do not give up on your dream, okay? Because, first of all, if you're thinking about giving up on your dream, it wasn't really your dream to begin with, okay? So... Maybe you should think about going down another path, okay? Maybe you should think about, um, I don't know, pursuing something else. You should really, you know, look inside yourself, you know, create a little bit of a self-awareness. Um, look, in, look in the mirror, look inside yourself, and pretty much uh, just ask yourself, figure out what it is you really love, you really want to do, and, you know, what your dream really is, and follow that dream, whatever that dream it is. Because if you're thinking about giving up and it's not really, uh, you know, something you have your whole heart into it and you're not, you know, you're passionate, you're not passionate about it and you're not really, then trust me, it's, it's probably not, not your dream. Now, if you're thinking about giving up on your dream because, of, again, of uh, just hardships, you know, whatever they might be, again, these hardships or these tribulations or these financial troubles or whatever it might be are... Again, just um, hurdles that you're going to have to cross no matter what. And, you know, as you cross them, it's going to just make that journey just so much better. And it's going to make your dream actually come true. You're just going to keep doing them. Great. Great. Awesome. Should be happy. Hopefully that helped you out, little Eric. <laughs> All right, I got a question from Dean. Go ahead. From who? Yeah. All right, no problem. All right, what do we got, Dave? 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 No, Dane. Dane? 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 Yeah. Got it. I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Hope you not. So what's up? What do we got? What are the main points I should look at in a five-year minimum plan? Five-year five year plan. plan? Yeah. I, I don't. I mean, the thing is, it's like I, these questions are just. Uh, I think are bullshit. I think anything about, you know, five-year, ten-year plan, things like that, I think they should just be pretty much automatic. Anything else other than that is uh, something probably someone told you to think or told you to do or, you know, just a way of thinking that's not really natural or whatever. Um, the whole five-year plan thing, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I got a like a five-year plan, I guess, you know, like I'm going to be more successful, may be more successful than I am today. And again, and that's, it doesn't have to be financially su successful. Okay, I could be a rock bottom, but at, at least, you know, in those five years I grew and I know that I'm going on my journey and then, you know, I'm just going to be, you know, uh, five, five more years away from acquiring my true dream. Because at the end of the day, that's what all of this is about, is just going <laughs> your dream. <laughs> it's just going after your dream, no matter what the hell your dream is, okay? So whatever, you know, it shouldn't be a five-year plan, you know? Your dream should be your life. It should be forever. So I, that's it. I mean, you know, relative to, I mean, if you got different circumstances, let's say you have a kid, let's say you got ailing family members or whatever, you know, of course things change and you might have to plan ahead of time certain things and that's totally, you know, legitimate. We get that. But as opposed to like a five-year plan, a five-year business plan, a five-year, I mean, you know, like, I, I, no, you know, like, uh, the, what this whole thing is, it's like, uh, look, we, we all hate the capitalist system, and as much as we love it, we hate it, and, um, you know, we're seeing that we, you know, because of the internet and all this technology, you know, all the cool stuff that we have, you know, we're able to create, you know, businesses for ourselves, you know, be our own boss, and do what we want to do, and not have to worry about, you know, the whole capitalist, uh, you know, corporate structure, 
and again, you know, if you go to, you know, Redo, and you check out, you know, Jeremy Rifkin, and you check out, you know, certain things about what near zero marginal costs are and all that good stuff, um, you, you start really seeing and you start looking into the future and you start realizing that, yeah, capitalism is important, but, you know, we're moving into like a completely different, you know, era in, in time and where things are just not going to, you know, where capitalism is not going to be the dominant factor. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, you know, by creating, you know, programs, you know, all over YouTube, no matter what they could, you know, what they're about, um, for, you know, very little cost, you know, people are able to monetize it and make money. And not just uh, videos, but, you know, all kinds of, you know, endeavors, you know, as to, you know, like, for example, someone that wants to open up a store, they couldn't afford, you know, to have a $100,000 loan just to open up a brick and mortar store, but all of a sudden they can actually, you know, they can have a humongous store and, uh, and sell you know probably twenty thousand dollars worth of goods on amazon or ebay or etsy you know and where you can you know again like uh create certain goods art and all, the, all kinds of good stuff like that and i have to be like a literally struggling artist on the street you know you can actually like you know get on your phone and sell stuff and you know we're like again moving into a completely different era you know where you know the kids these days don't even want to get in a car you know they don't they think the cars that owning a car is for old people you know they don't they they share they travel you know what i mean like through uber and you know car sharing and all that other good stuff so again i don't know what the hell the question was it was the whole thing about the five-year plan so yeah like i said you know with the whole five-year plan thing is just like this you know uh again you know figure out how you know, to get to your dream. So, for example, let me just give you a quick one, okay? Let's, I, you know, I don't know who's asking me this, but let's just say that whoever's asking me this is probably like a working 80 hours a week and they want to achieve this dream and, again, need a five-year plan, right? So, the five-year plan, you know, could be, again, you know, just figure out what your dream is. Look, really look deep down inside of, you know, and figure out what you want to do and lay out how you're going to achieve that dream. How are you going to get out of uh, working those 80 hours a week for somebody else and work in it for yourself and be your own boss. And that's it, you know what I mean? I don't know what else to tell you. Bam. Bam, got him. Should be happy. Bam, next. Yeah. Hopefully that answers some questions. Questions, more questions. All right, how about some topics? You want to talk about something? It's okay, man. You got anything? You got any personal questions you want to ask me, Lewis? Any personal any questions about you know any of this stuff you know that you don't you have any questions I mean yeah. what are the internet the internet of things what is the internet of things yes. what the internet of things is is I'll give you very very quick examples you know right now there's you know sensors you know pretty much on all kinds of things you know whether it's on this camera or you know on the computer or you know like on, on the light fixture when you walk into a room it turns on and off or again on your electronics you know and, and again your tell you know your telephone can sync with your radio or your TV syncing with the computer or the radio whatever and or you know again with a smart um, appliances you know when it comes to like you know again the smart uh, bleh, fuck refrigerators <laughs> and all that good stuff you know th that's what the internet of things is you know but it, it goes way beyond that okay so what are examples out of for example oh yeah so like uber you know that's part of the internet of things you know uh solar panel is part of the internet of things you know youtube you know what, I, what i'm doing right now i'm part of the internet of things you know i'm providing knowledge on what this internet of things is so what the Internet of Things is, is it's like it's a little more complicated. It's just kind of like a, a it's kind of like lingo, you know, kind of like a slang, you know, like in the tech world in order to describe, you know, what, you know, a lot of these things are, what's going on, you know, what this whole movement, you know, to to the future is, you know, uh, we're moving to like, again, a time where right now, you know, yeah, we buy a car, we put gasoline in the car and, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty much dying within 10, 15 years. We're going to be looked at as dinosaurs. Because right now there's electric vehicles. Um, we already have Uber, which again, you know, just because you know through your phone, you're able to access, you know, someone yeah. to come pick you up. We already have driverless cars, so it's only a matter of time when you call your Uber, and it's a driverless car, it's not an Uber driver anymore. On top of all that, you know, uh, it's going to be an electric car, so again, no cost there. 
It's going to be on a grid. Here we go again. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't part of the, <laughs> the whole show here. You know? Anyway, no, but, 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 hold, but hold on, hold on. No, no. So it's like another thing, you know, it's like, you know, it's going to be on the grid. You feel me? So like, you know, the whole electric grid is going to be, again, free. Why? Because, you know, we're going to have energy that's going to come from either solar, wind, hydro. It doesn't matter. We need all kinds of people to help develop better versions of these things and help put them all over the place, okay? To build this infrastructure, okay? Um, if you go to, if you do a little research, you do a little YouTubing, you know, you go to Germany and you're already, or, you know, other places, you know, up in, you know, uh, Asia and uh, certain parts of Northern Europe uh, where they already have this infrastructure already set. You know, again, in Germany, they already are off the grid in the sense of like they don't have nuclear power or anything like that. They're all, you know, again, within solar and all that stuff, they're all self-sufficient. Um, they already have, you know, several versions of that grid with the car, with the electric car working. So again, all, all this technology already exists and it's only a matter of time of putting it in and implementing it and being part of So how do you become part of the Internet of Things? It's very simple, is that you figure out whatever it is that you do. You know, it doesn't matter your age or your anything. Let's say you used to build cars or build roads or build anything. Well, again, all of this needs to be rebuilt. But we're not going to rebuild it with the second industrial revolution technology. No, we're going to rebuild it with a third industrial revolution technology. And, you know, again, we need all the people to, re to build all this stuff. You know what I mean? It's going to be a lot of time. By the time that all this is built, okay, 30, 40 years from now, okay, the generations that are going to be growing up later on, you know, then they're going to be growing up in a near zero marginal cost society in the sense of like uh, they're already, you know, working with the Internet. All the young kids, ask your kids, ask anyone around the age of 18, give or take several years. They already know what I'm talking about. They already know what's going on with this. And again, imagine their kids and so on and so on. So, you know. Again, capitalism is going to die in the sense of not die. It's going to again go maybe even even with this whole zero zero marginal cost you know economy because again, if you you know you don't need to make the amount of money, okay anymore. There's a godly amount of money. You just need more. You just need like enough to survive, okay more. And again, and we're not talking about like pennies. We're talking about like a nice comfortable amount, okay and. If you already know that your energy is pretty much almost it's pretty much free now, okay, or you get paid by produ for producing energy, when you call your Uber, it's again, what are you really paying for the connection fee, whatever? The Uber car shows up on a grid that's powered by the free energy that's already been produced, okay, and an electric car that's driverless that doesn't need anything. You, you see what I'm saying? So what would be the cost? It'd be pennies. It's compared to now to, to get you from point A to point B. And again, it goes down the line with all kinds of technology and all kinds of everything. But again, we have all this, all the, we have all the crazy, awesome technology to build the future. But again, we need to build it. So it doesn't matter what it is that you love, whether it's gardening or, or building, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're a builder from, you know, roads to cars to anything. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter because again, you know, we need all these, you know, the sensors and the technology and all the stuff like out in the farms and in the fields and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like, it's everywhere. We, so the internet of things is pretty much everywhere, but not, but nowhere. So, you know, we need to build it. Otherwise the corporations are going to build it. They're going to start laying this infrastructure and hire you people. Okay. To do this stuff. And again, the cycle continues. And again, here's a chance of us, for us to break the cycle. All right. And us for us to, you know, for us to be able to do anything, you know, anyone can start a business doing anything, you know, like seriously. OK, look at Tesla, you know, like this, they laughed at his ass. OK, what about, you know, selling any kind of like this free energy, whether it's solar panels or wind or, or hydro, you know, wherever it is in your community, whatever fits best. Why don't you just figure out a better way to outfit the house, make a package and just start selling it. And, you know, that's it, you know making your community self-sufficient and that's it remember the more of these you build, the, the, the more of these things that you build the more of these things that you know build that the capitalist system the cheaper all these things get whether you know again everything so and then you can create your own business none of, none of these companies are doing it ge isn't doing it or whatever or the corporation isn't doing it so when did you do it you do it be your own self 
sufficient person and market everything for free on the internet you know whether it's through twitter or you know through facebook or you name it doesn't matter you know everything is zero cost now you don't have to pay a godly amount of money to put an ad up you know in the radio or a banner ad or in the newspaper or anything like that and all those medias are they're dead anyway and you can pretty much advertise for free if you just know what you're doing and how you're doing it and you got a good product and that's it so anyway, I didn't mean to, you know, babble on so much about the, the whole Internet of Things, but hopefully that shed some light on a whole bunch of this stuff, you know, for the average user, the average, you know, viewer of this, you know what I mean, that maybe doesn't kind of get any of this, you know, like, hopefully, this explains a lot and helps a lot of people, you know, maybe jumpstart what they want to do. Yep, there's somebody think. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, man. Yeah. Gracias. <laughs> the Nagas. <laughs> So what's up, man? So what's up? Any other questions? Anything else you want to ask? Or any predictions for the Super Bowl? Any predictions for the Super Bowl? The Dolphins. The Dolphins. Dolphins, yeah. They're definitely, hopefully, hopefully going to make it. But uh, we're already late in the season, so, you know, obviously those are delusional thoughts. And hopefully that doesn't, you know. Don't make <laughs> These it. delusional thoughts don't have any uh, anything to do with anything I'm saying. <laughs> you know, they don't correlate. <laughs> but if I were a betting man, I mean, ah, I don't know, bro. Fuck. Miami, they invited to watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. They gotta buy tickets, so yeah, sure. Yeah. They gotta put them. <laughs> they buy tickets, you know. You know, otherwise they're gonna, they, you know, they, they, man, I don't even think they can win the NIT. All right, that's a basketball tournament for all you people. Yeah, I already know. It, okay, that, that's the NIT is for it's for the people that don't make it to the NCAA whatever tournament. Yeah. I don't watch college basketball too much. I don't know. I'm a football, baseball. Anyway, so what else? What else we got? Baseball team. What's your baseball team? About the Miami Marlins. Come on, man. Oh, you know? Lord. I can't help it. I can't help it. You know, I mean. It's okay. It's all right. We, you know, we only got two world championships. I mean, you know. Anyway, next question. Come on. I don't want, I don't want to create any haters. I'm trying to create some love out there. <laughs> Go Heat. Anyway, anything else? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a good team. Anything we're done for today? We got no, nah, nah. how, how many minutes you got in? 20. You got 20 minutes? No, we got 17. You got 17 minutes? Yeah, 17. I think we could talk a little, you know, about a little something else. I mean, uh, that. I mean, what about, look, you have a friend, right? Don't you have a friend that has a protein shake or something that uh, he was trying to sell? Yeah, he's still trying to sell. And? He needs some customers. He needs money. He needs investors. But see, look, for example, okay, so you told me that, first of all, his product is amazing. It's awesome. It's a protein shake. Um, it's all natural. It's organic. All this good stuff. And he has, what does he have? He has like all these, uh, he says the endorsement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these endorsements, right? From all these, you know, people that are in the fitness world and all this good stuff. What else? He has a website. Yeah. Twitter. Has all that stuff. Yeah, what's the question? <laughs> the question is, look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, I know who you are. I know you gotta. All you gotta do is do the work, okay? You got a really, really good product, okay? Can I talk? Can I say who it is or no? Can I talk on there? Who was the What was his name? El nombre. Yeah, Joaquin. Joaquin, for real? Yeah, for real. Okay, Joaquin, listen to me, bro. Okay, your new protein stuff, okay? How's it? How do you spell it? And you. And you. Look, we're gonna look it up real quick on the on, on here. But anyway, look, this stuff is good stuff, okay? New dot com or something. You see, look, right here, bro. This is not, you know, we need to figure this out. You know, we need to, what the fuck? This is like utilities. New, okay. New, and new protein? And new protein. And new protein. That being good. Google does not like, okay. Anything? New gold nutrition? No? New, where we at? New whole food. Newprotein.com. I think I'm the idiot. I apologize. Is this it? No. That's probably one of those free ones they made. So how do we find this? You see, there we go. Problem like number one. Ones? See, look, that's the thing, bro. Look, at the end of the day, you can hustle, you can market all you want, but if you know people can't find your products, this is what's the point? You feel me? So what's a good way to get some good investors? Why do you, first of all, if you, ask them, if you ask money from an investor, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna laugh in your face. Because if they can't even find it on fucking Google, what the fuck are they gonna give you money for? Joaquin. 
Okay? <laughs> Coño se de. Fuck, man. You know? Like, for real, no, seriously. You know, you gotta, like, make this, you know, you gotta make this, like, visible. Think, oh, think new. Is this it? Maybe? Yes, sir. Think new. Okay, bro. That thing, bro. So what you gotta do is that, like, if you don't know how to do this, and you gotta f find someone that knows how to do this and do the homework on your, on your own or whatever, you know? But at the end of the day, what you need to do, look, here's the thing, all right? What you need to do in order to sell this, okay? In order to make this fucking allergy run, anyway. <laughs> in order to fucking sell this, okay? In order to fucking have, have people find this a lot better, okay? Is that right now, look, you're, the website is called thinknew.com, all right? By the way, I don't know, I don't wanna sound like an asshole, but it, it, again, by mistake. Uh, <laughs> uh, but was like, does he have business cards? Does he have things to whatever? Yeah, I think so. And what does he what does he put on there? New protein or think new? Think new. So he puts think new, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, so I was just having trouble to find having trouble finding it because of because of miscommunication, right? Yes, sir. So anyway, look, Joaquin. What you need to do is that you need to again get an Instagram account. Does he have an Instagram account? Does he have? No, he doesn't. Already checked. Account. That's right, he doesn't. You need to get an Instagram account. You need to get a Twitter account. You need to get all these things. Okay, get on social media. Okay, because what these things are is free advertising, free marketing, free putting your name out there, free everything, and that's it. That's all it is. All right. And so, if you already did all this hard work to create this, and you're doing all this hard work to hustle, and you're again, you're putting out your cards, you're doing it, whatever. It, it, you know, you, 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 there's only it's only doing so much. All right. If you are able, okay, to get on Instagram, on Twitter, on whatever you f you know, whatever is best for you, you figure it out. Okay. You get on these, you know, social media, and all of a sudden you're not reaching out the people that you can give a card out to. No, no, no. you're reaching out the world. Okay. And pretty much anybody on the planet that might be interested in this. All right. And there's a lot of people on this fucking planet. Okay. And it doesn't matter what language they speak. All right. There's people that work out, all right, everywhere, all right, and they would love this. They would love this product, okay, and it really doesn't matter where you sell it as long as you sell it, right, but that's the thing, you know what I mean? You need to, you know, graduate, you know what I mean, from, you know, going from from the capitalist system of, like, trying to network with just a business card and, you know, going to certain, you know, places and hoping that maybe somebody will buy your you know your your stuff and again you're 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 marketing and you're networking to the wrong people you're networking and marketing to like CEOs and, and these probably these people that are big dogs and you're you're what you need to do is that you need to sell this okay product to the average user you need to sell it to to if I'm going if I'm working out you need to sell it to me if you you know like that you know whatever you know what I mean you need to sell it to the average consumer you know what I mean? So, you know, again, you know, if you're talking to the big dogs, just trying to get it in a store, trying to get into a GNC, trying to get into a thing like that. Otherwise, what, you're hoping that they buy one of your things? You feel me? So if you market it, you put it out there, you already have everything on the website, you make it really easy, really simple. And all you're doing is that every single day when you're doing whatever routine it is you're doing, whether it's working out, going out there and hustling, it doesn't matter. You post it up there and you just like, again, like, uh, damn, you know, I got this extra energy because of the protein shake that I took today. So I was able to see another extra, you know, like another client, et cetera, et cetera. And you kind of post something like that up there, you know, which is, again, all true. You post it up there, people engage, people see, you're like, oh, wow, this is cool. This is like a new whatever. I'm already tired of all GNC stuff. They look at your stuff, and that's it. They buy it, you know? And it's all word of mouth. So if it's a really good product, they, they, you know, again, the guy in Australia buys it, gets shipped out to Melbourne. And the guy's like, damn, this is awesome. He owns a GNC or whatever, an equivalent to that out there. And he not only loves the product, but then all of a sudden he calls you and he's like, hey, yeah, I need 100000 Because he owns like 13 GNCs out in Melbourne, Australia. But you will never in a million years be able to make that connection if you weren't on, yeah, Instagram or Twitter or vine or whatever okay and that's the thing you know so get out of that mentality guys come on people we can do this you can do this you can again build the future you want to build for yourself no matter what it is i'm telling you you can do this anything else that's about it sir that's it 
That's it for the day. All right. Hopefully it helped you out, Joaquin. Hopefully it helped you out, Eric. Hopefully it helped you out. What was the first one? Whoever that was, Lewis, I helped you out, hopefully. Yeah, you helped me out. Hopefully everybody got helped out, okay? And hope you enjoyed this. More questions, please. Episode three, okay? And please, ask questions. I, I, I'm, I'm sure I provided tons of information and tons of stuff, okay, for you guys to digest, think about. And again, please, ask me questions, okay? And it doesn't matter. You can email me, you know, send, put it, you know, through the website, through the YouTube page, through Twitter, through Instagram, you name it. There's a billion ways to reach me, okay? I look forward to hearing from you. And again, I really hope I provided some knowledge for you guys and you enjoyed this show and learned something and can't wait to see you next time. Right? Same bat time, same bat channel. Right here. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, please. Hey, subscribe, right like, here, subscribe, right. like, right? Yeah. Uh, uh. All right, yeah. that's it. Are we done? Are we done? Yeah? Pasanga. <laughs>